All right. Hello and good day. Hello, hello, hello. It's so great to be here today. My name is Chris Palmer with chrispalmer.org. In this video, I'd love to share with you local business marketing blog tips. Blogging or informational content, supporting content, this is a question that I get a lot. Should I start a blog? How do I start a blog? Will I get irrelevant content or will I get irrelevant traffic? Will it increase sales? Should I be doing it? So what I want to walk you through today is how you can create your blog in order to help assist a sale, how you can create a blog that's going to increase sales, traffic, clicks, something that's actually going to be helpful. Because oftentimes when I'm looking at a website, I'm helping say a chiropractor that's in LA or a personal injury lawyer that's in New York, or maybe even a pressure washing company that's in Maryland. They'll create a blog. It'll rank for odd and different types of keywords that are not only far away from a sale, but also in other areas where, yeah, their site is getting a lot of traffic, but the conversions, the phone calls, the form fills, the cases aren't going up. So this is where I would like to help you. Before I get into it, I want to point out chrispalmer.org for any and all of your SEO needs. With that being said, let's jump to the whiteboard, okay? Because the whiteboard is where uh, I'd like to explain a few things. So to answer the first and foremost question, should you create a blog? Definitely, but don't look at it as a blog because I, I want to lay this out for you, all right? When we're on our website, we have our logo to the left-hand side or the right-hand side, right? This goes back to the homepage, all right? We won't talk about that, but that's there. In our main head menu, I, I want to point out that, you know, there's what we do, okay? What we do, maybe service, right? This, we'll, here, to keep it simple, we'll, we'll call it service, all right? And then we have, you know, contact, yada, yada, all right? Now, over here, I want to put... Um, Better yet, let's frame this this way. Practice areas, okay? I, I focus a lot on personal injury. So we have our practice areas. This could be services for you, right? Let's say you're a plumber. You're doing uh, clogs. You're do doing uh, leaky faucets. If you're a chiropractor, maybe you're fixing uh, sciatica, right? Or fibromyalgia or, or pain, back pain, neck pain, right? hand pain, foot pain. Uh, maybe you're a dentist. Maybe you're doing root canals or, or cleaning teeth. I, whatever the case is, you have a list of services. And you probably have a particular area that you offer these services in. Now, this, this blog or, or this supporting content is what I like to call it. Uh, this is generally going to be uh, based on whatever the service is. So personal injury tips okay now we never we always want our urls to read how people are searching right so with that being said it, it doesn't make sense to have a url that's going to be like this right so let's just say it's law.com forward slash blog right and then and then we run all of our supporting content or blog articles off of blog. And the reason why this wouldn't be effective or helpful for you is because the URL, the title, the H1 tag, we need this to match how people are searching in order to be optimized, right? So unfortunately for us, nobody's looking for our business blog. They're just not. But they could be looking for personal injury tips, okay? Now, if we have our personal, personal injury tips page, all right, 
this is a this is our blog all right here these are top level pages this is the article top level page this is just the anchor text all right practice areas so what we're going to talk about right now is how we can start setting up our blogs in order to focus on the particular services that we provide in the areas that we provide them. So for our example here, we have law.com, right? And law.com operates in Texas, we'll say, okay? So inside of Texas here, you know, there's some big cities. There's Dallas, there's Austin, there's Houston, right? Wonderful. So here's what we're going to do. All right, so here, let's move this up here. So let's start setting up our blog here. So this makes sense. All right. Now, if we're a personal injury, let's say that we are doing, I don't know, truck. We're a truck accident lawyer. Okay. So if we're a truck accident lawyer, we're going to have HTTPS here. Okay. Let me just lay this out for you here. Right? This would be our page. So this is a practice area. We have, we're a truck accident lawyer. Now, if we're operating in more than one state, then this page here would be truck accident lawyer, pick your state. But since we're focused on Texas, okay, this could be truck accident lawyer. And then on this page, we would list out all of the locations. I don't know, Houston. Okay, bear with me here uh, so I can get this set up for you so it makes sense. All right. So. We have our practice areas here, all right? We're we're on a location page, all right? Trailing slash. I had a client lose their mind about that. Uh, the trailing slash incident, I call it. <laughs> uh, it's fun. Anyway, so we have our practice areas and we have our personal injury tips. Now, here's our supporting articles. We are a personal injury law firm uh, that's operating in Texas. Most notably, right now, we're focused on a particular practice area. This practice area is truck accidents. Now, how can we go about supporting our truck accident lawyer page? Right? This is the question. So, if we want to not only answer the question, but we also want to get depth of concept, because if I can build depth of concept, then we can start building authority then we can start getting more topical relevance for a particular topic, right? I need to build depth of concept in order to achieve this. Are you with me? So with that being said, one of the fastest, easiest ways to go ahead and start gathering more topical relevance for a particular topic or depth of concept is by going out to Google and figuring out, well, what are some of the most common questions that are being asked? So that's what we should do. So let's head on out here. I'll share with you something. All right, here, we'll clear this out. We'll go to Google. And then we're gonna put truck accident lawyer, okay? Now I am in Houston, right? Because that's where we're doing our that's what we're talking about right now. We're a, we're a personal injury law firm in Texas. We're talking about one of our practice areas, which is truck accidents. We're a truck accident lawyer in Texas operating right now, targeting Houston. All right. You with me so far? Great. So uh, as we do this, let's go back to here, turn this on, go like this. So let's scroll on down the page here. All right, so we put lawyer on there, so that's a commercial intent, so we'll pop this out here. Oh, wait, you know what? I got a new tool. All right, I won't use the tool. Uh, I'm just looking for 
All right, we can switch it. Doesn't matter to me. I'm looking for something particular to point out because a lot of times it's like, well, what should I write about? Well, let's write about what Google's rewarding. What Google's rewarding is what are commonly questions that are being asked, right? So when we come down into here, we can see, and there's tools to get this, and I don't want to get lost in the weeds here. I just want to share with you, if, if you're a local business, a small business, in this instance, if you're a firm, a law firm, here's our ideas, okay? So what's a common injury for truck drivers? Uh, what are common injuries uh, after a truck accident? What's the most common uh, lift in a truck accident? What is the worst truck accident in history? Uh, are you safer? So uh, one of them could be, all right, here, let's get a new one. So we have our law firm, right? We're talking about our tips here, all right? Now remember, we're in the we're on the personal injury tips page, right? But we need to support our truck accident lawyer Houston. So how will we set this up? Well, when we come over here and we're on our law.com, you know, uh, what does a truck accident lawyer do? Okay. Now, this is one of our articles. All right, what does a truck accident lawyer do? But mind you, we're in Texas and we're, we're also in Houston, right? And this needs to be a supporting piece of content. So how do I s tell Google that I'm building depth of concept and I'm also supporting a main topic? You do this with structuring. So what we want to do, or website architecture, we can make it as difficult as we want. But it's very, very simple. We're creating a piece of concept, content in order to support a main idea and build depth of concept. That's it, right? People aren't going to see your, your URL. The only people that are going to see the URL are you and Google. And maybe other SEOs like me, <laughs> right? That they'll say, ah, this business owner must know what they're doing, <laughs> right? So all we would simply do here is, well, we have our truck accident lawyer, right? So we're on truck accident lawyer. We're talking about, we're doing truck accidents in Houston. So if we want to build our depth, now, we're only on the third level, right? And I spelled that wrong. I put an O, I don't know why. So now we're at law.com, truck accident lawyer, truck accident lawyer Houston. What does a truck accident lawyer do? Okay. Now, now we have signified to Google that we're talking about truck accidents in Texas, most notably Houston. And we're supporting a main idea. This is building depth, right? However you want to visualize it. This way, this way. See, this article here is supporting these articles. Now, not only have I started with the structure, but I'm also able to do this. So I have my main page, okay? This is the home, okay? Home. Then we're able to build, because note, we do trucks, we do uh, brain injury, we do maritime, we do car accidents, we do, right, your personal injury lawyer. So you have more than one service, probably. So mind you, so we're going to go here. This right here is the truck. Truck. That's this page, right? Then after that, we're able to start building out. Well, we have truck, right? Here, let me grab this, move this up. Okay, I, I want this to make perfect sense to you, okay? So here's our truck page. Now, mind you, here, look it. We can even build three, okay? This is Dallas, okay? Austin, but this right here is Houston, okay? 
this truck page is Texas. Okay. Cause you might even operate in more than one state You with me. So now we're at this truck accident lawyer. So here's our Texas truck accident lawyer in Texas, or maybe you only do Texas. Great. Then don't worry about this. Just optimize this page around that. You only operate in Texas. The whole website's about Texas. You probably even host it in Texas. Anyway, so we have our homepage, truck accident lawyer. Here's our Houston, Dallas, um, Austin, right? So we're at the Houston page. So now we're on this page right here. But, but no, we want to build depth of concept. So here's our what. what. What does a car accident lawyer do in Texas? Most notably, Houston, Texas. You with me? So what does it? Um, let's go back to the drawing board, right? Oh, oh, what are common? Common car accidents. Well, common. So this could be another supporting article. But wait, Chris, I can't visualize this. Like, okay, I, I get this. So now we're one, two, three, four levels deep. On this, on this particular truck page, we listed the locations in Texas that we operate, right? On this particular page, we're on Houston. Well, inside of the article, if you want to go through that, it's up to you. Or in the sidebar, hey, related articles. Or I've also seen if you go to... Um, there's lots of examples. If you go out to, here, check this out. Look, at here's another way to internal link. Let me show you something. So truck accident lawyer. Let me see something here quick. Let me see if I find it here. Where are we? What city are we in? Ah, here. You can get a, a good scope if you go to United Kingdom. Watch this. You go here and you can get it nice clear. Let me show you guys something. Another really cool way to internally link. Boy, good job, buddy. Forbes. Got lucky. Uh, ben Crump, big law firm out of DC. Uh, truck crash. This guy does pretty good. But I'm looking for something in particular to show you a fun way. Uh, uh, I'm looking for something... There's a huge firm here. Oh, where are they? They're not doing so hot right now, but they, they have a really unique um, internal linking structure. And I'll show you guys something here. I'm try I can't think of the name of it off at the top of my head, probably because it's early. As soon as I see them, I'll know. Uh, uh, I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking. <sighs> Man, I want to show you the way they do. I'm trying to think of their names. Man, maybe they don't rank for truck. Maybe it's car or... Bear with me here. Uh, this is stream anyway, so we got time. This isn't a video, a short, punchy video. I'm, 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 this is a, a class. <laughs> um, man. I really, I'm trying to think of the name of them. Man, it's going to drive me completely insane if I don't figure it out. How about this? I'll show you guys something. Um, man, I guess they just got rocked. They, they do have a very nice internal linking structure, though. I will give them that. And without their, without their showcase, man, oh man, they, they got, wow, they fell off the board. Well, <laughs> uh, it doesn't take away from the fact of very high quality um, internal linking, not by any stretch of the imagination. Here, let's go over here to DC. They have a very, how they set it up and how they internally link on a page is, is relatively unique and I really like it. 
Um, and that's why I want to take the time to point it out to you. Uh, man, it's not law.com. It's close to that. It's close. I'm, uh, um, man, <laughs> I can't believe that they fell. I mean, these guys were doing really well. Well, I, I, I'm sorry, I can't even find their example. That it's, it, they're not a laughing stock by any stretch of the imagination. It was a very well formed. Uh, they were doing good SEO. I, I don't know what, what, what. I don't know what happened, but. The long story short of it, they just had a premium example is, you know, at the top of a page, right, where they would generally have their chapters, these chapters would look like chapters that would be jump links for the article, but they weren't jump links for the article, it was jump links to supporting content. And it was brilliant how it was laid out. It was, it was phenomenal because it was just an internal linking block that they created as an element that could be a global element that they could add to the pages and change and edit easily, fast. You could tell that they set up a process in order, right? Because it's one thing to, to have it, but then in order to create a process is far different, right? Like you can think of a nice way to do something, but in order to deploy that across a large site and then be able to manage that, whole nother ballgame, right? So, you know, <clears throat> I, I was impressed uh, with what they were doing. I, I was very impressed, actually. Um, unfortunately, that's that's just one way to do it. Another way to do it, it's an example that I always use, and, and this is generally how I would I would recommend, and because this is an SEO channel, I like to show um, uh, Backlinko, right, which is, a, I guess, a SEMrush product now. If you go over to his blog, what you'll quickly find is you'll see, and I always use this as an example because it's a premium example. It's an easy way. We're on blog. Breaks all the rules, right? But in any case, I'm on the SEO blog. But when I'm on this blog and I see how there's links here, this, when I click on it, it goes to the page, right? Completely different page. Now I want you to visualize and, and rem go back to our example here. Let me, let me bring you back to our example. Whoops. When we come back to our example here, what I'm getting at here is when I see my personal injury tips, right? We're on the personal injury tips. This could be the blog. Now there's a list of tips that's personal injury, right? These could be tips on truck accidents. This could be tips on car accidents. This could be tips on maritime accidents. If you're a chiropractor, sciatica tips. It doesn't matter your industry. Pressure washing, a uh, roof thing, window installer, garage door repair. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter what the service is. Structuring, structuring, top level down, you know, it's, it's all the same, just different words, right? At the end of the day. So if this right here is law.com forward slash personal injury tips, I'm looking down the page at all the tips that this website has to offer. Why? Because I'm the authority in the space, right? I talk about all kinds of things. When I click on this, this could be, what does a car accident lawyer do in Houston? What does a truck accident lawyer do in Houston? What does a Texas truck accident lawyer do? You with me? Now, you'll say to me, well, Chris, but what about cannibalization? What about it? It's much like if I'm building a page that's what does a car accident lawyer do in Texas? They might be similar, but there's different variants. I'm talking about a different geographical location right? And people that are in Texas aren't going to be this, that are searching for that SERP. It's not going to show the exact same results as someone that's specifically looking for someone in Houston. Now, if you build enough authority, there might be, right? But if I have a page that's specifically optimized, just like your location landing pages, 
if I have a specific page that's optimized for what do they do in Houston, then I'm going to show and I'm going to be more likely to show for Houston based keywords. For instance, let's take this for instance. I have a, I have a test site, right? I, I shared this. It's much like car accident lawyer, um, New Orleans. Okay. We're playing around with a few things. Now, if I do a control F, uh, okay. So if we had one that is this, and then you make one that's called best, right? I, I, I think it's another location. If you do best, now I have information and then I have commercial intent. This goes the same for your blog. This is a way that you could take up more space, more real estate in your SERP. All right. So not only can I have my top level commercial intent, I'm targeting Texas. I can also target Houston. I have more and a higher probability to show up more than once in a SERP. My click, my clicks can skyrocket. Plus, I'm able to show in different SERPs because I'm targeting different variants. I hope you're with me. All right. So if we jump back to our example here, all right, I've given you, here's the framework. Here's one way to do it. There's, there's, a, there's a million ways to do it. This is a nice way. We have our blog section that lists just like, just like our good friend, Brian here, right? He has his main blog. This could be your tips page, chiropractor tips, whatever tips. I list all my articles right here. Why? Because I'm the authority. I'm talking about all different kinds of things, but when I actually click on an article, it takes me to my supporting pieces of content. This way I'm able to internally link from the top, the head and the foot. Plus on top of that, my internal link flow on this page is through the roof, right on here. Then I can build links to all my supporting articles without building links to the pages individually. How you ask? Well, when I'm sitting here, look at, I can build here. I'm able to hit all these links that are on this page. And I assure you the level of referring domains that are pointing to the top level page, as opposed to the individual pages is night and day. I guarantee it without even looking. So I'm able to build to the top level because power trickles down. I can build to my blog page or in this instance that we're talking about the tips page and I can help fuel all my blog articles. Plus, on top of it, if we go back to the way I'm mentioning our structuring, right? Let's scroll on out here. Look at, remember, homepage, state level page or top level page. We start talking about cities and now we're answering questions in the cities. These city pages are internally linked, right? This is internally linked, right? And of course it's linking up and this is linking back down and this is linking here and this is also linking up, right? They're internally linked. They're all working together. So when I start building power here, my truck page, I'm able to help fuel all of this, plus any natural links that you acquire, especially as you start stating statistics or facts or you start becoming an authority. I hope this is making sense for you, all right? Because I, I get asked quite quite a lot like hey should I start a blog it doesn't make sense I don't want irrelevant traffic it's because you're not geo modifying your informational content I'm not saying that you shouldn't build top level supporting content you should we want to answer all of the queries but there's queries that are that are location based as well the intent changes when there's a modifier that's why it's easier for me to rank with the modifier than it is for the top. Not only because it's a shorter phrase and not only because there's less competition, but because it's a different, it's a different keyword. Okay. So, uh, with this being said, uh, this is local business marketing. This is, uh, blogging for business, right? You're not building a blog <laughs> to build a blog. The blog's only goal in my opinion, is to help support the main idea. In this instance, because we're local businesses, it's to produce sales, to help answer the questions before the sale. That's it. That's it. Who, what, when, why, where, how? Answer those questions. And then you can start diving into other ways to answer those questions. Like, I don't know, YouTube. 
perhaps or and then you once you have your YouTube shorts are probably the best way because they're easily to be shared I could push it out to Twitter I could get it on my Facebook page and we know you have a Facebook page right not only a Facebook page but you probably have a group that's targeting personal injury lawyers not only in Texas but in Houston they're free free channels to push probably have a podcast you probably have Twitter you have your Facebook you have your reddit right easy to set up easy to manage and it's all automated right so now you have a little marketing machine <laughs> for yourself <sighs> I hope this helps you out anyway do you guys have any questions something I, I should clear up what's the Chrome extension you use which one this is a uh, link gopher this is called Location Switcher. Good morning. Good morning to you, Best Marketing Tools Review. Good to see you. Uh, good day from Amsterdam. Awesome. Good to see you from Amsterdam. Jake Shower, busy at work. If you can upload this to watch later, Chris, it would be amazing. I'm just going to leave it here. Um, hey, Chris, I was hit by the latest helpful content update. Uh, lost position 1 to 13, made some edits, now back to position 9. Uh, seems to stuck on that. Any tips? Time. Time is the tip. Stop making changes. Um, increase the internal link flow going to that page. Update the intent of the page. Food, beverage, niche, wine to be exact. Yeah. It's take a look at the titles that are being rewarded. And, and it's not that I'm, you know, I, I, I got some flack on this. I, I was talking with a few gentlemen and, and a ladies and a few ladies too. And they're like, oh, Chris, you can't just change the title tag. That's, you missed the point, my friend. It's not just the title. It's the intent of the content needs to change. If they're rewarding a different title, the title gives me a clear indication of intent then I need to change the article. It could be a very slight modification, but take a look at that. That's where I would look. And then I would start increasing internal link flow. All right, so uh, I covered the main uh, topic for today. This is local business marketing blog SEO tips. What we're talking about primarily today is creating a blog, creating supporting content, creating depth of con concept, right? We're supporting the main idea. That's what we wanted to lay out here. I touched on internal linking. I wish I could remember uh, the name of this site. It's going to drive me bonkers. Uh, but either way, uh, I gave you some great examples. Um, man, I wish I could find... Um, Man, I, I wish I could find that site. But anyway, I only have a small bit of time. My name is Chris Palmer with chrispalmer.org. I hope that this has been helpful. My, my only goal is to help. Thank you so much for your, your time today. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much. It's Saturday, so I don't even know why I'm here. <laughs> uh, I love you guys. Have a great day. Bye-bye.